Hey friends, welcome back. Ooh, a bit loud. Take five minutes, Robert. Thank you. Okay, where was I? Welcome back. Today's project, we are going to make cushion covers for an outdoor patio set. The one right over there. I've got a cushion from the dumpster that I found. There's two of these that I'm going to use for the body. But as you can tell, it's a bit too high as well as a bit too wide. I'm going to shorten it slightly and cut it in half and use one half for this seat and the other half for that seat. But then also I need to reupholster it with some outdoor fabric. The first thing that I have to do is I'm going to create some sort of template to size the pillow up. I'm going to measure this out, leaving a little bit of space because I don't want it to overhang too much, but also I don't want it to be too small. So half an inch in the back, half an inch in the front, and then also half an inch on the side. I'm going to just tape this up together. When I use this to template the fabric, I'll also use this to template the pillow. So next, I'm going to measure out the pillow and cut it in half. So here I'm going to try to salvage as much of this cushion as possible. I'm going to reuse the zippers and luckily I have a second cushion. And then the leather here seems to be still in good condition. So I'm probably going to use this for a future project. But right now what we're going to do is we're going to measure this and then cut this in half. Seven inches. So we're looking for half of that, which is three and a half. I have a better ruler. Ha, ah, easier. I make sure to mark three and a half inches on all sides so that I can keep track when cutting the cushion to keep it as evenly as possible. Now that it's all measured, time to cut. We now have two pillows. I've never made pillows before. I'm upcycling a lot of these products to minimize the impact on the environment as well as to minimize the impact on cost. I was planning to save the next couple of steps for the following day, but for some reason I had a lot of energy that evening. So I went ahead and started seam ripping out the zippers and taking the leather fabric apart from the original cushion covers. Last night I was really restless and started measuring out the pieces that I needed as well as laying it out on the template. So I'm just going to make some adjustments and then I'll start cutting it out. Cutting out the templates was the part that I was really worried about because I only had 2 meters of fabric to work with. So I made adjustments to get all the pieces I needed from the fabric. So here's what I end up with. four panels two for the bottom, two for the top, two of the zipper panels, two of the front panels, and then four of these side panels. Now the reason why I have all these multiple panels for the side is because my fabric wasn't long enough. Ideally you would want to have one long strip. So essentially what I'm going to be doing is attaching these on so that they complete one long strip. And why I have it done in two pieces is so that at the front of the cushion, if I had done it as two strips, you would see a line going through the middle so at least these two sides will be hidden onto the side of the cushion. Here what I'm doing is I'm folding this in half. I've got all of my panels together lined up and I am simply finding the center and I'm making these notches on the corners here just to indicate where the center is so that I can line them up easily. It's a bit thick so it's a bit hard to cut but essentially that's what I'm doing here. These here I'm going to do the same thing. Fold them in half, find center, and cut. And I'm also going to do that for the zipper panels. Find center. So see here, I've made the notches to mark where the center is. So essentially, it'll look like this. You've got your top and bottom covers, zipper panel, front panel, and then you have your side panels which I think are a bit too short. Okay, so I went ahead and fixed that front panel. So I added in an extra three inches so that it can wrap around. These ones will be stitched together with the right sides facing each other. Sew a straight stitch to attach each of the side panels to the sides of the center panel. Next thing I want to do is put the zipper onto the back panel. I'm going to fold this in half, right sides facing each other. And then I'm going to go through this with a basting stitch down the center or near the center. So what I want to do first is just line this up to make sure that the teeth of the zipper are on the center crease and then just measure out as to how much of this that I'm going to need to base stitch. From here it's going to be about half an inch. When doing a basting stitch you won't need to do a back stitch at each of the ends as you'll be removing this stitch later on. This is simply meant to keep the fabric temporarily in place. So now that that's stitched in place I'm going to cut down the middle to open this up. And just cut and once that's cut we're gonna open this flap and we're going to sew the zipper so the teeth facing down 
onto the front and we're going to sew it down on both sides so going down on one side and then repeating it on to the other side so we're working zippers and again i gotta use this zipper foot so once you have your zippers in place all you're going to want to do is open up that basting stitch that we set in the beginning. Ideally, you'd like to get a zipper that kind of matches the color of your fabric. But in this situation, again, I was just repurposing material that I found. So now that I have my side pieces sewn in together, I now have to attach these onto the top panel of the cushion cover. We're going to put the right sides facing each other. So remember those notches that I made at the beginning? Really what we're going to be doing is lining them up together so that we know which area is the center. And then we're going to start on one side and stitch down across. And then once that's in place, we're going to repeat the process on the other side. From the front center notches, we start sewing down on one side until we reach the pivot point for the corner. Now as I'm coming close to the pivot point here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look as to where it is that I want to do the pivot. So the pivot will be about half an inch. So I'm finding that pivot point. I am making a little cut, I'm making my mark as to where that pivot point will be. And then at the same time, while I'm doing that, I am going to crease it and then find the opposite end here and make a little notch there. So I know that that is the pivot point when I do that side. Also, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add in three other little cuts near the seam. And the reason why I'm doing these cuts is so that when I pivot, it's going to be easier to round it off inside the corner. Oops, sorry. That shouldn't have been there. The cuts should be here. So that's where the cuts should be. Disregard those cuts. It should be after where you've marked for your pivot point. So here we go. When you get to the pivot point, make sure your needle is down on the fabric and pull the presser foot up to make the turn. So from here, you just turn it and see how those lines help with the curvature. You just make sure your needle is down. You're going to turn your fabric over and continue sewing straight down this way. I've left a little bit of a flap because I still have to attach the zipper piece onto this side. So once the zipper piece is attached, then I can finish them all off together. I'm going to repeat this process on the other side. Now that I have the side panel in place, I now have to attach the zipper panel. So again, right sides facing each other, matching up those notches. And then I'm going to repeat that same process that we did with the other side panel. So again, locating my pivot point, fold this and then make my little three notches One, two. and continue sewing until you get to about two inches remaining at the end so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to stitch these two panels together like that and going through one line here so lining up the panels reverse stitch first forward and i'm going to put that tab over on top and then i'm going to go over it these are all lined up. I'm also going to backstitch. And really I'm doing a lot of backstitching here because I don't want the zippers to come out. Backstitch. And then front. Now that this is stitched together, I'm going to stitch it onto the panel. So this side here where there isn't the zipper, I'm going to fold it down so that this is flat. So see it's flat here, flat like that. Simply just sewing through the line here. So just finishing this off. And the reason why I'm folding it this way is so that the zipper goes inside and it's kind of like hidden. See that's what it's going to look like on that side. It's actually really nice. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now, finish this off by putting in the bottom panel. So again, matching up the notches that we made, notches on the side panel and the top panel with the right sides facing each other. We're just gonna stitch all the way around the entire cover. Remember those notches that we made on the panels? So they come in handy right now so that we know that this is the other pivot point. Get your needle down. Put the feet up a bit, turn your fabric, and we keep 
going through. So as you saw, I've already cut that curtain in half. Sorry. And now I just have to shape it so that it actually fits that cover. I just got a pillow. My vacuum is trying to escape. Robert, no, no, Robert, stay inside. Mm -hmm.